are talking about when we see it. So on the outside, this is the clear part of the eye. This is called the cornea. When a person puts a contact lens on, it puts a contact lens here onto the cornea. Uh, when a person has LASIK surgery, that's done here on the cornea. Okay. Um, if you ever hear of a person having an astigmatism, and astigmatism is an irregular curvature of the cornea. Or in other words, instead of this part being a smooth, even, well-rounded curve, if there are a dip or an irregularity, possibly a lump on that part, that's termed an astigmatism. And then this white stuff around the eye is called the white of the eye. It's also known as the sclera. So whether we called it the sclera or the white of the eye, both terms mean the same thing. Can we turn it around to the back? Oh, we can see some fat that helps to hold the eyeball in place. We can see the attachment of the muscles in that pinkish purple color. Sweet. And we see this little part looks like a tail called the optic nerve. Once again, this connects your eyeball to your brain. So we're going to get all that extra skin off first. Now as we remove the skin, You'll see that the eye will look a lot smaller because a lot of what you're seeing now is just that extra skin. Mm. And with the extra skin gone, oh the eye is going to seem like it almost shrinks in size. Oh, this is sweet. It looks like um, there's no blood here because one of the first things they do like is they drain the blood from the animal. No, it doesn't. Um, so that by the time it gets here, there's very, there's little to no blood. And there is blood inside of the eye. I'm sorry, there's blood vessels going to the eye. But as you go in, we'll see. It's not actually, uh, well, let's see. I don't want to spoil it for you. So this is the actual eye itself. Remember, the human eye is a little bit smaller than this. A cow's eye is about the size of a golf ball. A human eye is about the size of a ping pong ball. But take a look at this. If I were to squeeze the eye, oh. it's like there's stuff in the eye, because there is. There's a liquid in the eye, and there's a jelly in the eye. The liquid in the eye is called the aqueous humor. The jelly inside of the eye is called the vitreous humor. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the cornea. We're going to remove the cornea. And Cornea, you guys will actually be able to see some of that aqueous yeah. come out of the eye. Oh, squeeze it, squeeze it. I wish it doesn't happen in my eye. Dude, poke it. Yeah, I just want to poke it. Oh, man. Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh, it looks like jelly. It does look like jelly. Can I have a sample? It looks like jelly. Okay, so now that I've cut through, I can oh. actually, I'm going to make one more oh, snip. Oh, oh, that's and blood! It's oh. not blood, it's chill. Snip! I'm right off the eye. That is the cow eye. Uh, this is the cornea. Well, let's take a look behind the cornea, what we'll be on the inside. Oh. Here, we have a ring of smooth colored muscle called the the uh, oh, iris. iris. Now, in a person's Ooh. eyes that are brown, the iris, this ring of muscle here, appears brown. If you have blue eyes, your iris appears blue. So the iris, this part here, gives each one of so us our eyes, different black eye colors. Eyes. See, cows only have one color eye. <laughs> cows only have that brown color. They don't have different color eyes. Oh, yeah. And then that hole in the middle, right here, this is the pupil. The pupil is a light opening for the eye. In bright light or sunlight, the pupil opening shrinks, allowing less light to come in the eye. In darkness or dim light, the pupil opening becomes much bigger, letting all of the available light into the eye. And once again, the size of the pupil is controlled by this ring of muscle called the iris. Okay. Now, going further. That's the inside of the eye. Oh, man. What's that like ball thing in it? Now in the eye we can see oh, oh, it's an egg. Which we'll come back to. We'll put it to the side for just a moment. 
What you're looking at now is that jelly-like substance and that watery substance. Watch this. The watery substance is the aqueous humor. There's not a lot of it now. Most of it is gone. But this jelly-like substance is called the vitreous humor. Oh, he's got it on his hand also. Oh, whoa! and the vitreous humor act kind of like air in a basketball. Think about air in a basketball. The air helps the ball keep its basic ball shape. Same thing with the aqueous humor and the vitreous humor. These help the eyeball keep its basic eyeball shape. Without them, your eyeball would be kind of flat and squishy. Now let's look further in the eye. That's the eye. And in the eye, you see this cloudy layer. This cloudy layer is called the tapetum. Now, here's the case to the tapetum. The tapetum is an adaptation. What grade are you guys in? Fifth. Fifth grade, excellent. Because this will be on this test that you guys have taken this year. What? You guys taking the tax test yet? Yes. No. Not yet. Not yet. Well, listen closely, because you will see this. This is what we call an adaptation. An adaptation is a feature or a characteristic. Sometimes they are changes that animals have or make. And these features or changes better allow Did these animals to live in their environment. Here's the catch. The more shiny and highly reflective the tapetum, the better the animal's night vision. You look at a cat's eyes at night. They look like they glow or they shine. You're looking at the tapetum. Cats have excellent night vision, and this area reflects a lot. Humans, we don't have very good night vision. Think about when we drive cars at night. Well, hopefully you guys don't drive cars at night. But when your parents drive cars at night, um, you know, they have to have headlights on the car so they can see better and street lights above us. And then we even have that tape in the middle of the road um, and, and those little reflective bumpers. You know, I, I call them Braille, and sometimes people like drive by Braille and they run in the middle line and all that. But that's a story for another day. But if a cat could drive, of course they can't drive either. But if they could drive, they wouldn't need the headlights and the lights above them because their eyes see really well at night. Okay? So we're going to peel the tap room back. Watch what happens as I peel the tap. Oh! Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh. That's okay. pretty sweet. There goes the tap room. That would hurt. That would hurt, yeah. That's the tap room right there. Oh, that's yeah. Now, looking further in the eye, we see the retina. And the retina is the inside layer of the eye. And the retina is kind of like that movie screen that you see in front of us. You know, in, uh, in this room,